Hello Gemini, this is Tanya from Sarva Yoga and I help you navigate your life. Today it's time for your December tarot reading and as usual I'm gonna go first into shuffling and then into your reading. And you can see in the timestamps below at what time the shuffling ends and when the reading starts. I want to thank you so much for being here and thank you for already more than 1000 subscribers. That's amazing to me. You guys rock! angels and spirit guides what's in store for Gemini please for December 2020 thank you we've got seven of Pentacles reversed okay but I'm getting that I should read all of these except for this one in the upright okay then let's use another deck and see what comes out there Is there any message in here for Gemini for December 2020, please? Thank you. We've got trust. The situation will improve. And forgiveness. Thank you. Okay. I think that's a wonderful reading. I'm going to stick to that. So let's stop shuffling and go right into your reading. So Gemini, here is your reading for December. Um, you've got the Seven of Pentacles, so definitely you have been sowing some seeds, you've been working on something and you are waiting for the plant to bear the fruit. So you are hoping that um, the positive outcome of all of your action, of all of the, the effort you put into this will finally show up. But it's still not coming. So you're starting to get a little bit impatient. You're starting to go like, mm, all that waiting and watching is uh, starting to get on my nerves. But the universe says, please trust the plan. Because you can see here, there is your 5D version, your third, um, 4D version, and then there is your 3D version right down here. So um, your 5D version knows exactly what the divine plan and the divine timing is. So trust that your higher self has this patience for you, even though here in 3D, it seems a little bit unpleasant to wait. I'm gonna show you again here. So you see there is your higher self and you can really trust your higher self. So have some patience here. Then you have the Six of Swords reversed and forgiveness. With the Six of Swords reversed, um, this could either be that you are too proud to ask for help in a situation, or it could mean that you um, have the feeling that there is nobody coming to help you, that you're feeling helpless and all alone. Um, because here, normally, if this card would be upright, it would be that these birds are pulling the boat. So there would be people or someone coming in that helps you, that pulls you out of a negative situation. But here you have the feeling, as it is in reverse, that there is nobody coming to help you. Or you're feeling uh, resentment towards a person that hurt you. But here the angels say, have some forgiveness. 
Yeah, and I'm gonna read to you from the booklet what it says about forgiveness here. It says, Forgiveness can work miracles. When you release the past, a weight is lifted from your shoulders and a sense of freedom washes over you. Ask your angels to help you let go of sadness and pain caused by others that, so that you can be free. This card also can refer to a need for self-forgiveness. It's time to let go of any guilt you're holding on to regarding past mistakes that you have made. Give yourself credit for having tried your best even if the results weren't what you would have liked. Focus on the changes you've made since then that have made you a better person. So stop regretting that you trusted this person who finally helped you and forgive yourself and also forgive the other person because if you forgive, they have no more power over you. The situation itself has no more power over you. If you just say, okay, that thing is settled. It's in the past. I will not look at it anymore. I will look into the future and that's all I will do. Yeah. Focus on the present moment. Focus on nourishing this little plant you have here. Focus on your own project that you want to build. And then you have the situation will improve. So you can see you will be reaching for the stars here. So this will be absolutely perfect. And you know, this card is mirrored here. Do you see this? Here, the reaching for the stars and here the reaching for the fruit. Do you see how similar these cards are? And they, they fell together. So with the nine of pentacles, the nine of pentacles is the moment you've been waiting for. While here in the seven of pentacles, you were still waiting. Here it is. Now the fruit is here. Now you can just pluck the delicious fruit from the tree. It's all yours. So that moment is going to come. Just trust that it's going to come. Okay. The fruitful ending is about to arrive. And how will it arrive? Well, before you were thinking that nobody's coming to help you, but uh, -uh here they are. Here they are. Do you see that? This is a collaboration card. This means that you are working together with other people on a project. So somebody's coming in to help you here, create something beautiful and new. And every single one of you who is involved in the project will do its own personal, uh, their own personal best. So it's like, one person has talent A, another person has talent B, and the third person has talent C, and together you're creating something absolutely wonderful. So there is no need to worry for you, Gemini, here in December. Sure, you have to wait a little. Sure, you have to be patient, but the absolute happy ending is coming right up, okay? Nine of Pentacles. I mean, this is a very, very positive card. You reach for the stars here. That's absolutely beautiful. I'm happy for you. So Gemini, I hope you liked the reading. If you did, let me know in the comments how it resonated for you. As this channel is still so small, I can still answer every single comment. <laughs> so I hope to see you next time. Thank you again for being here. I love you guys. Bye.